Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from McClue Linux. Um, this is probably going to be the last video I put out uh, before New Year's. Um, I just wanted to show off what's coming up in the next few weeks. I did say earlier the year, in earlier in 2014, that I was going to work on less desktop environments, but focus more on maintaining those environments instead of putting out a whole lot of desktop environments, and then just not being able to handle the workload so uh, with that being said I'm currently focusing on XFCE and cinnamon those are the two that I put out the the second half of 2014 I'm still on the fence with KDE I'm kind of watching how KDE plays out you know and seeing what's happening with KDE 5 so I may put an updated version of KDE out at some point in time but I'm not sure right now uh, my main focus right now is to the Cinnamon users and the XFCE users. With that being said, um, a Cinnamon update should be available in the next few weeks. And that is my focus today in this video. Um, so, okay, so previously on Cinnamon. The first version of Cinnamon I put out um, was basically uh, the first version of Cinnamon 2 that hit Debian. Uh, it was very broken. Uh, I had to do a lot of work to even get it to, to initially work properly. Um, since then I've done a lot of tweaking. Um, okay, I've done a lot of updates as well. A lot of bug fixes, people that send in feedback. Just minor little glitches and things that people point out that are fixed. Um, on the front end of things, I've also played with the themes a bit, edit, edited some themes, uh, just blended everything. So today I just want to show off a little bit of that. Okay, so uh, previously we had, let me just open the themes here, get to the themes. Previously uh, I used the, uh, let me just find it here, if it's still here, uh, there. Previously, I used the plain and mostly square theme, okay? So that's pretty much what uh, version 1.0 of Cinnamon looked like. Very nice theme, very nice, uh, can't complain. However, I wanted a little bit more, you know, I guess I'm in this phase, you know, people like the whole transparency thing in XFCE, and I wanted to bring a little bit of that to Cinnamon. Um, and I didn't want to sit and create a whole new theme for it because there are already a lot of existing themes with very similar colors. So I figured I'd just take the default cinnamon theme and just, uh, you know, just edit it, uh, apply what I needed to need, need on it and uh, just make it fit with the current theme. And that's pretty much what I did. So if you notice now there's a, a, a transparent bottom panel, just slight transparency, not, not a lot. The menu is also transparent, and the th and the colors, you know, the colors now flow with the with the GTK theme colors. The shell and the GTK now now work nicely together. They um, basically the colors virtually the same. Um, I've also not put too much transparency on for the reason that uh, one of Cinnamon's huge faults is that it's very limited in adding transparency or anything like that to the GTK theme or the Mentacity theme and for that reason uh, one of the th one of the problems with it is that people would make nice see-through shell themes you know completely transparent and very nice but then when you open up your file manager you get this ugly window popping up so everything's beautiful in the shell but the moment you open up the the, the, the file manager or a window you get this ugly GTK theme Okay, so that's a huge problem with, with Cinnamon. I don't know why they don't enable these features or add these features to uh, to Cinnamon, you know, being able to um, just add some transparency and, and things to to the GTK theme. But anyway, um, I'm sure that will come in time. Uh, what I've done was I've basically just put on slight transparency, just just enough to sort of blend the theme so that you don't get a too big a difference between your file manager and your shell theme you, you, if you if you understand what I mean so there's just a slight transparency on 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 certain things but enough to sort of just give it that little bit of a, a, a wow factor um, a couple of things I've enabled in cinnamon um, was the double click on the top panel so uh, top 
top border uh, your title bar so you can sort of double click and to minimize and maximize a window so that's nice that's a nice little extra little feature there um, also you can now basically set the transparency yourself on windows you literally on the title bar you just scroll with your mouse wheel and you can sort of set your window transparent or not transparent simple wheel scroll and so that pretty much takes care of transparency on some level so that's a nice little feature I've also enabled all the effects the minimize maximize um, close you know your window will pop into the back um, so there are a lot of new effects um, and you know I've still maintained the speed I've focused heavily on speed as well as always so uh, you know this is in virtual box so it's still super fast opening closing pretty much everything um, I've also changed the background of some windows like the terminal where it was completely transparent before now it's sort of a more of a, a, a gray white transparency which also blends with the theme a lot better you know what I mean because this is a sort of a, a see-through grayish theme so I wanted the background where there's transparency to be very similar so you've got a very I've spent a lot of time on on the theme but you've got a very a blended you know sort of a more smoother look on the theme in general because of that so all around just little things that I've touched up you know the, the little things in life sometimes just make the biggest difference so um, there was a lot of focus on that I've also because on in XFC I know we've always gone with Slings Gold Launcher in the past but with XFCE when I introduced Synapse as the, the the menu on the right hand side of the screen it was very popular I mean I got a lot of feedback positive feedback on that I saw the reviewers liked it everybody seems to love synapse launcher um, so I've replaced the um, slings gold launcher on the right hand side with a synapse launcher okay so now users on the left you have still got the dual menus and the left menu would be the normal launcher and the right menu would be synapse launcher so that's the other major change in in the next build um, I've also included a sort of a user account menu with the system buttons and so forth uh, just there next to the menu I mean it's tiny it doesn't take much space and it's quick access to your account um, system settings and so forth so that's also something that you'll see in the new build by default I mean it's positioned there by default extra little plug-in um, so those are the major changes visually that you'll notice um, in the new cinnamon edition and you know a lot of it it doesn't it might not seem like much but when you use this build on a daily basis it makes life so much easier when you can just double click a window instead of having to scroll your mouse to the right up to the button and then click it you know a simple double tap maximize minimize it makes all the difference in in life and being able to sort of just uh, scroll your wheel over a window um, to sort of just you know set the transparency transparency level also makes a huge difference if you just want to see what's underneath without having to minimize and maximize a window so that's very handy as well um, cinnamon settings I've updated uh, cinnamon to newer version at this point in time it might even update even more before it goes live but I just want to show you at this point in time uh, let me just get to cinnamon packages at this point in time cinnamon is running at version 2.2.16-5 and the control center is running at 2.2.11-4 and for that reason there's a lot more features working now inside the um, cinnamon control center things like power manager that never worked before is now working networking is working um, display options is working so it's not complete yet but I do see some activity in the control center which is very nice and long overdue so for that reason I've actually included the system settings as well as the Makula control center into the menu therefore um, f people that feel more comfortable system settings can use it people that feel more comfortable with the uh, custom made control center can use it um, they don't clash if you set change settings in the one it will change in the other you can use either or whatever remove one from the panel if you don't like it or from the menu if you don't like it but I have included both there so that's another little change that you'll see 
Um, I've updated the applets, desklets, um, extensions. I've added some more to to the system as well. Um, I've added some new desktop backgrounds. I've added a couple of new themes for users to play with. Shell themes, um, GTK themes. I'm not going to get into all of that now because I'd kind of more like to just leave that a mystery. I don't want you know reveal what the next back background's going to be. Rather let the user just play with that on their own and and so forth but uh, all round I've done quite a bit of tweaking um, it's now just a lot of fine-tuning updates uh, bug fixes that kind of thing so this is going to be a nice little update that's going to be coming to the users in sometime in January I mean next week is January so sometime in January soon um, some of these updates will be ported back and be available for the people that downloaded the first first uh, version some won't obviously um, so yeah something to look forward to and uh, just to let you guys know I am busy after this uh, after the cinnamon update I'll be putting out a nice XFCE update as well I've also been messing around with the XFCE so uh, this uh, December is almost over January is going to be a busy month for me um, Feb is the Chinese holiday and I want to leave to China probably the end of Feb I want to uh, look to get out of South Africa at the end of Feb so before I actually make the big move I'd like to put out two very decent updates for both um, I mean one decent each but I want to put a decent cinnamon update out there and I want to put a decent XFCE update out there so January I'm going to be pushing both of those um, just to you know keep busy and keep keep the users happy and that kind of thing so I welcome all feedback you guys have any ideas any suggestions feel free to email me or contact me via the website um, but yeah this is Jacques from Clue Linux showing off uh, new features and updates coming your way soon I wish you guys all a happy new year and may it start off uh, good I'll chat to you guys soon cheers